Hello and welcome to Six Minute English. I'm Neil and I'm Rob. Hello. Hello, Rob. Oh, I uh, I like your new hoodie. Oh, right. Thanks a lot. Yes, a hoodie is a sweatshirt with a hood. By the way,、uh, you don't think I'm too old for hoodies, do you? <laughs> Never. No, no. You too old? Never, Rob. It's all about how young you feel inside, isn't it? Is that right? Well, I don't feel a day over sixteen. Excellent. Now that might help you because in this program we're talking about the teenage brain. So, are you ready for today's quiz question, Rob? Yes, I am, Neil. Fire away. Okay. What part of the brain is connected with basic emotions? Is it the A, prefrontal cortex, B? Cerebral cortex, or C, limbic system. Okay, well, I was terrible at biology. I never listened in class, so I'm going to have to take a guess and say the answer is A, prefrontal cortex. Okay, well, we'll find out if that's the right answer at the end of the program. Now, Rob, were you a well-behaved student? <laughs> well, I wasn't badly behaved. But we had a horrible school uniform, and sometimes I got detention just for having my shirt hanging out. <laughs> well, that's pretty harsh.、Mm. Uh, detention means having to stay at school after the day to do extra work. Yes, it was a punishment for doing something wrong. Now, some people think that typical teenage behaviour, such as embarrassment, anxiety, mood swings, and risk taking, is caused by changing hormones.、Mm, mood swings are sudden changes of mood. And hormones are chemicals in the body that stimulate cells and organs into action.、Mm, yes, I bet you're a moody teenager, Neil. I might have been.、Uh, no, let's not go there, Rob. Now, apparently, it's not only our hormones that change when we reach adolescence. That's the age when we start changing into an adult.、Mm, that's right. According to scientific research, some teenage behaviour is probably caused by changes in the brain. Let's listen to Professor Sarah Jane Blakemore talking about this. What's the phrase she uses to mean to enjoy? There's a pretty established theory of risk taking, the biological basis of risk taking, which is that two different systems in the brain developed at different rates. The parts of the brain called the limbic system, which includes the regions of the brain that give you a rewarding feeling out of taking a risk, a kind of kick out of taking a risk, and an emotion out of taking a risk. Are developing more quickly than the part of the brain called the prefrontal cortex, which inhibits risk taking. So, what risks do teenagers typically take? Well, the things most parents worry about, such as drinking, smoking, possibly taking drugs, and driving too fast. And the reason that they take these risks might be because the area of the brain that rewards risk taking behaviour develops more quickly. Than the area of the brain that inhibits or slows down risk-taking behaviour.、Mm. And what was the phrase she used to mean enjoy something? It was to get a kick out of something. Teenagers get a kick out of and are rewarded for taking risks by one part of the brain, the limbic system, while the other part, the prefrontal cortex, does little to slow things down. Uh, well, that sounds more fun than being an adult. But actually, we often give teenagers a hard time. Let's hear more about this from Sarah Jane. Something that I've noticed since working with teenagers is that they are the butt of many jokes, and they are parodied left, right, and centre. They're demonised in newspapers. And whenever I tweet anything about the teenage brain, which I do quite frequently. Invariably, inevitably, I'll get a reply from someone going, "Oh, what teenagers actually have brains?" That kind of thing. Now, of course, some teenagers are very brainy. Brainy is another way of saying clever. I know young people who are brilliant at maths, art, and science. But we heard Sarah Jane describe teenagers as being the butt of a joke. That means to be its target. And if you parody someone, you copy their style in an exaggerated way to make people laugh and to. Demonize a person or a group means to talk about them as if they were evil or threatening. <laughs> Poor teenagers, Rob. Ah,、oh, don't worry, Neil. They'll grow up and be like us one day. And now it's time to hear the answer to today's quiz question. Yes, it is. I asked you, what part of the brain is connected with basic emotions? Is it the A, prefrontal cortex? B, 
cerebral cortex or C limbic system.、Mm. And I chose A prefrontal cortex. Was I right? Well, I'm afraid to say, Rob, that you were absolutely <laughs> wrong. Okay, <laughs> using <laughs> no. the wrong part of my brain, obviously. <laughs> yes, the answer is C, the limbic system. But don't get too emotional about getting that wrong, and instead, please remind us of the words we learned today. Good idea. We heard hoodie, detention, hormones, adolescence, inhibits. Get a kick out of something. Limbic system, prefrontal cortex, brainy, butt of a joke, parody, to demonise. Well, that's the end of today's six-minute English. I hope you got some kicks from today's show. You can hear more programmes at bbclearningenglish.com. Please join us again soon. Goodbye. Bye. Six-minute English from the BBC.